cases are our county cases. Uh, first one is REZ 2014-17 Grand Bay Estates. Jason, if you will present this. Yes, sir. As I'm bringing the presentation up, I'll just try to speak loudly so I can try to do two things at once. But this case is ultimately about taking conditions off of this close to 100 acre property. Because ultimately the development plans changed for it. Originally, the original developer wanted to develop a much more dense subdivision. And in subsequent years, that was back in 2007, um, that did not happen. Those plans did not materialize. So a, the property was sold. And those developers and their agents approached the county to try to do something a little bit different, which is larger um, 8, 10, 12 acre plus lots in this area. They're not asking to rezone the property. The property is rezoned or currently is on the RA, which could go all the way down to two and a half acres. They're just asking to remove or modify the conditions to develop that, that new intent. Staff looked at this case. The primary concern was that when this was originally developed, staff protected Upper Grand Bay, Bo Upper Grand Bay Road really from any encroachment, from any driveways because we were anticipating a dense residential development. We went back to the county engineer, met with the applicant's agent, and all agreed to basically five lots for a limited impact on Upper Grand Bay. We tried to build in some contingencies to that language. If Upper Grand Bay is ever paved, it is on the SPLOS list. It's just not very high on it. And we think we've accomplished that with the condition. We haven't cleared the condition through the county attorney yet, but we believe it's at least in a format that we think is ready to move forward and able to be active tonight, should you so choose. And the applicant's agent is aware of that condition and, and is in agreement with it. But uh, ultimately, that is the request, is taking something that we uh, condition in a specific direction for a dense development and scaling that back to larger lots, but still trying to protect what we're granting. So you have staff's recommendation there. I don't have any updates to the request other than the support for the condition from the applicant's agent. And I do believe he is here tonight to address any questions you might have specifically for them. Thank you, Jason. Any questions from the commissioners for staff? Jason, in your condition, the third sentence of the condition, can you tell me what your intent is by that sentence? Yes, sir. We were tr if the condition is approved by the board, and it is on the property. We wanted to try to free the property up if Upper Grand Bay Road is paved, because if it's paved, we don't have a concern for access onto a paved road. Sorry, so the five lot limitation would go away. If exactly. Is paved. Exactly. We wanted to try to build something in that way. If Upper Grand Bay Road is paved, and it is, it is possible. I mean, it's on the list. They're just having, they have issues with right of way with it right now, so it's not high on the list. We just didn't want to limit their development if the road is paved. So that was our intent. So we're just trying to build in a, a caveat in case that does happen. So they wouldn't have to come back before the commissioners to remove that for a sixth or seventh block, etc. Any other questions for the commissioners for staff? Right. Would you have a, any heartburn if that sentence was changed to read, this condition is valid until such time as Upper Grand Bay Road is paved? I think that's fine, sir. I mean, I think that's simple. Yes, that. that's right. Go directly to what you're that's right. You wouldn't have to be an attorney, would you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're benefiting from that. But yes, sir, that, that is the intent. That is the intent, sir, it is. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's the best part. Is valid until such time as Upper Grand Bay Road is made. That's right. So it would go away. Scraps do not add until. Any other questions for the commissioners? If not, if anyone is here present in favor of this item, please come forward this <coughs> Take your name and address, please. My name is Nathan Smith, uh, the company, 
you. I'm here representing the Pine Village developers, the owner of the property. And uh, I talked to Jason and you know, the county engineer, because I think originally the conditions they put on, it was you know, 2006, 2007, the time for movement. They thought it was going to pave the road. But talking to the county engineer, I mean, I think they're very opposed to paving the road. The people out there giving right away, so it looks like it's in, in force of the economy tax. So what we're trying to do is just have bigger lots, you know, that you know, gives a lot of people. There's a demand, people that want to live out in the county, they want to stay in Lowndes County, but you know, they want 10 acres, you know, they want 8 acres. And uh, they limited it at five lots, and we're okay with that. I brought kind of a conceptual flat of what it would look like. Can I get these? Can you get a copy of this? On the upper ground, there, there's five lots. Anybody present opposition to this request, please come forward. Being none, any, any other discussion? No? Can I have a motion, please, then? Move we recommend the approval of the request consistent with the comprehensive plan uh, with the condition that the subject properties only be allowed to create five new lots that have access to Upper Grand Bay Road. Uh, the intent of the condition being to limit development on the unapproved portion of Upper Grand Bay Road. The condition not would be valid until such time as Upper Grand Bay Road is paved and should have proposed I have funded on both Georgia Highway 135 and Upper Grand Bay Road, then the county engineer may require an unencroachable buffer strip. Second. Madam First and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand and signify. Passes, manage. I file county case.